What's going on guys? I'm just making a quick tutorial. This really doesn't have anything to do with Java, but if you guys are doing your own graphics, it's kind of something useful um, that you're probably going to have to figure out on your own. Probably don't even need a tutorial for it, but I thought I'd throw it up there. So this is the background we're going to have for our game, the ball game that we're working on. And this uh, city scene, most of you guys are probably like, what is that? Is that a camel? And no, it's not a camel, it's like a city scene. You know, the day is coming to the end, sun setting, and you get like uh, your view of your city. And anyways, these cities are going to be moving uh, to the left kind of slowly, just kind of, you know, get a nice scenery. Um, but what we're going to do is we're actually going to want to kind of copy this same image because we want to just use the same image and uh, just keep cycling through. I'm just going to select the whole, you know, the whole image here. Uh, the background color isn't a part of this layer that I'm working with. And then I'm going to paste the image here. If you guys are look, working with like tile mapping and stuff, and you need to create graphics for that. You also want to do kind of the same method here. Is As you can see, when we have this scrolling over, um, you know, it looks pretty good, right? But we want to make sure that we line up at the left part of our image and the right part of our image. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a copy of the current layer that we're working on, copy that, paste it, and we're just going to move it over um, you know, somewhere and make sure it's lined up at the bottom so we have it cut off at the left side. Then what we're going to do is we're going to select the layer underneath it and we're going to move this city oh man, move this city over to the left and move it down and as you can see, if we would have just duplicated this image and had it on our game, we'd get this air, this line right here, and it, and it would look like the people designed the game had no idea what they were doing. So all we need to do is smooth this out, and then when we duplicate this image, we won't have this like messed up line here. So, you know, it's pretty simple. I'm just going to grab my paint and fill this out. I'm going to work with this layer over here. So as you can see, we just, you know, do something simple. Uh, make it look more natural of a uh, connection and then and then uh, once we cycle through these two these two images within our game we won't have any kind of a uh, you know a messed up line like that so again the trick is just to kind of move your image after you've kind of completed it just move it a little bit make a copy make sure it connects well on the other side and if you guys are doing like a tile map for like a RPG game or something um, or just any kind of game that uses tile mapping, you kind of do the same thing. If you move it once to the left, and move it once down, and then kind of fill in all of the inconsistencies. And that way you have a nice little map that we can cycle through, and you guys will see this in the upcoming tutorials, uh, this image. Um, and we can cycle through, and it, it doesn't really create any seams for us. It's just going to be a nice fluid motion. Um, even though we have one image, we can reuse this image. So uh, again, thanks guys for watching, and I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Is that a camel?